Hey, hello everyone, this is Matt, and welcome to the sixth part of my Chain Worm Commando with Polaris playthrough. Okay, so, as usual, if you like what you're seeing, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, you know, all the good stuff, or it will bonk you like I bonked this pinky here. Again, I think it's a very fair trade, and I don't think that joke's gonna wear out anytime soon. I'm mostly joking, it probably will. Okay, let me remove this because it's very useful. Okay, I don't think there is anything that interesting going on here. I probably didn't need to reload that. It's marked as a, and something that I can interact with. I wonder what it's gonna be. Okay, so I guess I sipped some holy water and uh, thermal patch. Yeah, this is probably just like another thing. Come on. Okay, I think I got everything done. Yeah. So, once again, it's probably just another player entity placed out of bounds. That when you interact with that, is raised. Like, I'm not sure if the entity itself is raised. Or if it's something more like there's a little elevator that brings the potions up. No, health bonuses, however you want to call them. Yeah. So, I kind of forgot talking about this in the beginning, but okay, so we are in the boot barrack crypts, and as you can see, we have little alcoves here for the coffins with, cob with cobwebs, and yeah, some little openings here. And we have another, you know, we have a little chapel here, I guess, with a not particularly holy looking Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's just doom for you. <laughs> Yeah, Doom is as subtle as a bag of bricks thrown through your door, thrown through your door, no, thrown through your living rooms, um, yeah, thrown through your living, living rooms, window, that, and all the bricks have 666 engraved on, it, on them. Okay. Let me make a little experiment here. Yeah, I want to see if it's like better to use these. Okay, I think I walked into that. But okay, while I was trying to make that joke that probably landed, didn't land at all, and it was in fact quite bad. So here we have little alcoves with the coffins, and this one has been defiled. Okay, and you can make your own grave digger jokes now. I'm not gonna make any on my own. I'm not gonna provide them so easily. Okay, looks like we got some Kako Pops over there, and yeah. So we have a bunch of grapes here, because no crypt, and here we have the runes from Quake, like just lying around here. And we have a Freshly, freshly dug grave here for the backpack. That's oh, that's actually some grave robbing material right there. Okay, and okay, this zone is an actual one. So yeah, there was a skeleton in there. And this one too. Yeah, but it isn't um, secret. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let those cubes do their thing. I think all of them blew up already. Now, I want to make a test here. There's going to be some revenants here, I think. Yeah, I completely missed it. Come on. Okay, so the marksman rifle can one-shot revenants. On occasion, not always. Something's gonna raise, I'm not sure what exactly, but you know. Yeah, it was just not well, as I thought I remembered. Okay, so, Archival Popsicle. Definitely something you might like for this winter. Uh, okay, so I have a bunch of cubes. 
Uh, let me think how I want to do this. I think there's going to be a bunch of Hell Knights and Barons here. Okay, I'm going to stack both of them with the flares. And now I'm just going to wait for a bit. Oh, that's a whole lot of... That's a whole lot of gold. That's going to slow me down. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better choice, I think. Oh yeah, and they have some cremation urns, like right here. Look at that. Oh, one's missing. Secret? Nope. nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, you have a... I never remember the mage's name from Hexen. Okay, so this is very obviously a secret. Not quite sure what it is. What are we gonna get here? Oh, so zero. Nice. Okay. Yeah, might as well just come back the way I came. Oh, not here, it's um, here. Yeah, I need a... I need a... I needed a Luki for that door. Okay, um... This... Yeah. I think this is a... good of handle in this situation. Okay... Alright, I'm full on shells. Okay, now here. Oh, we have a tree going through the roof here. Okay, there's a specter there. Not sure what's on the other side here. Yeah. Normally a bad choice to use that on fast monsters like that. Okay. Okay. What? Let's just do this the good old fashioned way. Alright, so nice, another vitrification rifle. Okay, cryo ammo. Yeah, it's good to have it really, even if I barely use anything other than the. Barely, barely use anything that uses it. Mostly just the. Um, mostly just the vitrification rifle. Come on. Yeah. What a mess. Okay, I have one too many bombs. I should probably use them a little bit more. Yeah. Are this through here again? Okay, this gun is too heavy for me to use the bombs. Okay. Did something teleport there? Well, whatever it did, it got frozen and blown up. Okay. So that was the bootbreak crypts. And I'm actually gonna... You know, not sure how I'm gonna man how I'm handle this. But I'm gonna, you know, try making something a little bit interesting. You know, gotta time this one a little bit better. Hmm? What's going on here? Okay, had a little hiccup there, but you know, it happens, it happens. Okay, so as usual, this has a mat. Thank you for watching, and join me next time in which we'll be tackling the portal. 
see you.